That's a good thing about season. Alpine. Yeah. Is your buddy Paul? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. may he rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. That man. He he made was being the funniest there. man. Yeah, I heard I, the story. In my I heard life. the story from the drive out. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh the drive out. <laughs> he drove through Chicago. Oh my god! <laughs> so. <laughs> So it is kind of a funny story. So Very funny we story. get a call. I don't know. It might have been in the middle of the night. We had, oh, what did we have, 12, 15 employees in that building? Yeah, it was like right. and, uh, in Alpine, Utah, which is right outside of Salt Lake City. And uh, it, was a, it was basically a call center and, yeah. and, and so forth. They, they really made everything happen. And uh, either myself or my former business partner got a call, frantic call. Everyone's it's total mutiny. No one's going to show up at work tomorrow, right? So I called Ernie, my former partner, and Paul Cal, may he rest yeah. in peace, my best friend for years, uh, passed a few years ago, and uh, said, we have to drive to Utah right now, right? It was, it was literally the next day, basically. The next Two day, day. It was, <laughs> who, who's car, we had, we had a was, bunch of company Camry. cars. It was yeah, the yeah. Camry that Joe ended up. Right, whose was it. that before, was that yours, no, or was that? that was, uh, no, the other guy. Oh, that uh, was uh, Gene. Uh, Gene. Gene, yes, yes, yes. Right, so, we, <laughs> so, so Ernie and I <laughs> and my former partner start from, you know, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and then we, then we pick up Paul on the way, and right. he's in Ohio. So, to go from, Literally from New Jersey to Salt Lake City, Utah, it is one road. <laughs> it is 80 west. Right. There are no turns. Right. Right. So we're we're driving, taking turns, and going. Literally, we're taking this old Camry like 100 miles an hour constantly. <laughs> Paul so much wanted to drive. Like I was driving oh. for like a couple hours. You know, like I think you started it, and then I took over for you in Ohio or something like that. So I'd only been driving for I don't know three, two hours or something, Paul's like, oh, I want to drive, I want to drive, I want to drive. And you were like, Paul, <laughs> don't you dare make any turns anywhere. Route 80 is the only road, 80, follow it, Route 80. All right, uh, you know, Paul, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I got it, yeah. I got it, Craig, no right. worries. Right, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not some sort of meathead, which is what I call them constantly. <laughs> you fall asleep in the back. <laughs> Glenn, he falls asleep in the back, so it's Paul and I, and it's getting dark, and he's, <laughs> we're just having the conversation. Right. Next thing you know, he's behind this truck, right through the where it all gets to like congested. Well, sure enough, he misses eighty to stay on yeah, eighty. I woke up. <laughs> well, but yeah, but when you woke right. up, it was already way too late. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's how too late it was. Yeah. I said. That is the freaking Sears Tower, Paul. We were downtown Chicago. Downtown we were, freaking yeah, Chicago. We were, yeah. I said, that's some of the worst traffic in the country. So well, for an nice. hour, an hour, on, on, you moron, you are a complete knucklehead. You cannot. <laughs> and, and where we had to, like, so we're there, and then we had to turn around and get out, but it wasn't so easy. Like, we no. didn't know exactly where we were. And where we stopped well, the asking directions. Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. We were way out of place. Yeah, we, were not where, yeah, we should not have As been They kept telling us, like. Right. Yeah, yeah, you guys should not be here. Yeah, get out now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we stopped for gas or something. Yeah, we but, needed it. But <laughs> it was like, it, the, Paul, there's no turns. No turns. And we end up in downtown Chicago. Yeah. I mean, I look, I wake up and I see, yeah. going, oh, I've been there before. Oh, that's a Sears Tower. Oh, how could that be the Sears Tower? <laughs> Had you not even <laughs> said that or saw it? We, we, oh, we, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We would have yeah, been, been in the Sears Tower. We would have been past <laughs> Chicago. Knucklehead. <laughs> oh, my God. He was a funny person. Oh, man. he was a crack up. He, he killed me. He was so funny. I spent that summer out there, and he's just, the things he would say, after a day of work or going into work or while just where he comes up where i have no idea but i can just tell you my stomach got stronger you know <laughs> my abs because i laughed so much <laughs> well yeah and it's if everybody knew paul it'd be better because right. you're paul Kell and mormons in oh, utah right. oh just yeah it didn't go together no no he's pl no. pretty politically incorrect but yeah. uh, in a lot of different ways but he was a trip man he, he was really a trip i hired him when i was running a cadillac store at, at uh, gum cadillac olds uh, and he was i don't know 20 years old worked at this out of it selling used cars out of a trailer on a hill an alliance hmm. 
and uh, on Route 62, and uh, he comes in with cowboy boots and this and that, thinking he's all this. He's like 20 years old. I said, you know, first of all, go home and you know wear big boy shoes. You know, <laughs> do you have actual shoes? You know, this is a Cadillac dealership, dude. And, uh, and I took him under my wing. We were best friends and uh, for 30 yeah. some years, you know, yeah, until he passed. So awesome guy. So 